Hey friends, I'm back. I was on live earlier with my friend Laura. I was not. He was not. I was at Mean Scoop. He was an egg cream. Yep. It was a good one. Mm -hmm. So, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, I was like, hey, I really want a mug cake. How about we try it with coconut cream instead of the brownie batter? So I made her one. It's awesome. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's weird how I do not like coconut at all. Like, at all. But I love the coconut cream nourish. I didn't know I was going to like it so much. I've always had the brownie batter. And now there's like two things you've made with it. Because of drop cookies. They're the best. Yeah. Love them. And I like it more with coconut. I don't know why. It's good that way. The coconut nourish just does something <clears throat> different. I don't know. You know what I think? And I still like it with the brownie, but I like it more with the coconut cream. And then he made me the cake last night with chocolate chips in it. So the chocolate chips that I use is called Enjoy Life. It's a brand. Yep. And they're allergen free of everything, which is great for me. And they're gluten free. Yeah. So all the things, okay? Free of everything. So we put that and then that zero um, whipped cream is the best freaking thing ever. Like, better than any mix I've ever bought <laughs> or anything Shows. we've ever tried to make on our own to be gluten-free. So good. And it's only a little bit. How much nourish do you use from that? One tablespoon. That's it. That's one it. tablespoon. So I use uh, so one egg, two tablespoons of peanut butter. Yep. One tablespoon of nourish and a handful of those chocolate chips. You know what I think would really be good in it? What? Some pecans. Pecans and the People chocolate People up north chips. call them pecans. No. Pecans. They are not pecans. I think it would be good to mix in there. Don't they, you? Yeah, or walnuts. Not pecans. I got both. I got walnuts in there too. Don't be saying pecans in the south. They don't work. We still, we're talking about mud cakes. Yeah, I'm just saying. Just saying. I'm trying to figure out where these shadows Southern are coming things. from. Southern things. Making I don't. me look like I got dark circles under my eyes. But I, I don't really know. don't. Maybe you need to close your Turn my hat around thinking that it was that. You're not talking very loud. I don't know if people can hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. No, not like that. Uh, I'll get closer. That's not what I meant. Oh. Okay. I do have a headache. Hey, y'all. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, so mug cake, yummy. Nourish, it's freaking great. I love drinking the nourish. Oh, you know what I found today? <gasps> what? Okay. I was digging in the cabinet. Oh and Lord, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in there. What'd you find? The Trinot cabinet. Oh, okay. I have a cabinet with all of our products and then like I have more, okay? So I have like an abundance of things because we have a lot of nourish. We drink a lot of nourish, we eat a lot of nourish around here. So yeah, I have a lot. Anyway, when I was digging through the cabinet and I was gonna come put some things up here because on my wall and now I have some like stuff up here on my wall. Um. Anyway, found chocolate mint truffle. I found the last container of the chocolate mint truffle. I didn't know that. I was so excited. You know what was really I good? I loved it. It was great for like holiday. Is that raspberry ripple mojo? I still have some of that Do you? too. I didn't know that. Yes, it's I so good. It it's good. very good. Those were, I'm sorry, but those were our holiday flavors and I don't think they're available anymore, but I was so excited to you find that what? one last container of mint. It was Good. For those that still have the raspberry ripple, yeah, you can do this with the chocolate too. I like to make it with no water, just make it straight almond milk. Oh yeah, it is really good. Yep. Even really if good. you use vanilla almond milk and just put that milk, in there, whatever it's goat's fine. milk, whatever you got, mm -hmm. coconut milk, it don't matter. Oat milk. milk. Is that what Kenzie drinks? Oat milk. Oat milk. Is. Kenzie likes the oat milk. She puts that but in her. Oats coat don't or have something. milk. It's stupid to even call it oat milk. Well, almonds don't. It's almond milk. I don't know how they do it. They just make they milk out of the it. They squeeze the juice out of it. They, they do. I don't know. They do whatever they do, and it's called milk. I just oats, know I like it. I feel it. like oat, I don't oat milk is just oats with water poured on them and sat there overnight and then strained. That's disgusting. It is, isn't it? That's what makes me think of oat milk. <laughs> if that's what it is, that's really disgusting. I'd rather drink goat milk. I, yeah, I probably would rather drink that. buttermilk milk. even. No. You mm. don't drink milk compared to oat you, milk? you put what? it in stuff and recipes and that's great it makes it really rich you flavor. Fish with it. it's you really don't good. drink it i don't know anybody who drinks buttermilk that's just weird 
I don't know. My I don't drink it. Doing some but I like to put put fish in it before yeah, I fry it. When you batter it? Mm -hmm. anyway. Let it soak. I don't know. Anyway. Speaking of fish. Okay. Holy salmon. That stuff was good <laughs> last night. It was very good. I think next time I will eat with you. I think next time you can it make me good. one. I do not I'll like fish. I'll make you some garlic butter dipping Look, sauce. I rarely like fish. Usually the only fish that I like is tilapia. Okay. Don't like fishy stuff. Then it's gross, right? Swahi is much better than Swahi, tilapia. actually, yes. Swahi and... What is the other thing I just said? You said tilapia, but you, tilapia. I think you mean catfish. Nope. I don't like catfish. Uh, <laughs> tilapia eats poop. All things. All fish eat poop. That's not true. Catfish eat poop. That's not true. Yes, they do. That bait that I remember my daddy having that big old stink jar bait? of like uh, those little... That looked bait. like poop. Little poop. It's made Circle. out of liver. It's chicken liver. Why are we talking about that? Anyway. They all eat disgusting things. The salmon was really good. Eat whatever. It doesn't matter. Really good. So, yeah, I would never think I would eat salmon, ever. But he made it the other day after you last were night. inspired. Not the other day, last night. Sorry. Yes, other day, inspired. last night, same thing. Ugh, you're so critical. Okay, inspired by a friend, Clay, and he made this. And I think Josh would never even have tried salmon again at all if he hadn't made this for dinner. But he made, um, what are we talking about? Salmon. <laughs> Salmon. So, um, anyway, so when Josh made it last night, I was like, why does it taste so good? Because <laughs> I've never eaten salmon before, other than the one time I had, like, tried it at the restaurant and it was disgusting. Yeah. <clears throat> you should not do that. So, I got it at a restaurant it one time, too, good. and that's why I decided I didn't like it anymore. But mm -hmm. I got it at yeah. Cheddar's. I didn't get it, like, at a seafood restaurant, you know? Even, no, I had mine, like, at the schooner or something. Oh. And it was nasty, and that's a seafood restaurant, so it's gross. Yeah. Anyway really really good so next time you can make me one and i will eat it because that tasted phenomenal i would have not known that was salmon whatsoever like it, it didn't taste the way i thought it was not fishy at all mm, it was, it was just good it had a lot of like really good flavor and moisture like it wasn't chewy it wasn't like i don't know it was it was just really good it reminds me gosh i'm tired of course it's 905 babe it's time Jeez. for you to go to bed a long day i have to go to houston mm. tomorrow too Yay. Ugh. I hate Houston. Sorry, Houston people. Um, you hate, if you live in Houston, you probably hate Houston traffic too. That's the thing he's talking about. It's not anyways. Houston itself. It's just the traffic of Houston sucks. What were we talking about? We were talking about fish. Yep. Okay. And it's good. <laughs> oh, going to it Houston reminds tomorrow. me, that's what I was going to say. It reminds me of tuna steak. That Navroski's used to sell. They used to sell this like seared tuna. Navroski's? It's really good. I don't remember them having that. So okay. I need to find me some tuna steaks. Hmm. Or go shark fishing, catch me some sharks, cook them up like that. Shark Maybe. steak's good. I don't think I have it. Okay. So anyway. I hear Kenzie. So mud cake. Awesome. So he already has a reel of like how to do the mud cake with the chocolate. So I'm going to make him do another reel of maybe how to, you know just do the other one just because it's good we'll do it differently we're gonna it's like dangerous. maybe you can make the cake and i will film you for this next reel yes i can make a mug yeah. cake it's easy to make the mug cake well plus you get way more views i have blonde in the video that's just like yeah it's just so? better i think so i think okay. we need to try we'll that. try that yeah. so anyway um if you want to know about the what we're using the protein shake that we're using it's we're using the powder of the protein shake and it's called nourish and it comes in two flavors and that's what we've been doing stuff with. And if you want information about that, let just, you know, message me and I'll send you some stuff. Or me. Or him. Or go to collagencouple.com. There you, you go. You know, you can do that too. That's where you need to go. Hey, you know what time it is? What time is it? It's collagen time. <gasps> oh my gosh. You okay? <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. That bottle is okay. almost empty. Which I was is, expecting it to be heavy. Which is why I hurled toward my That's plate. right. Because I thought it was going to be heavy. Okay. <laughs> not heavy, but, you know, heavier. Nope. There's not a lot left in that bottle. Thanks for smacking me with it yet again on a live. You hit me with collagen. It could have been worse. Yeah. I think that bottle was open as well. Is it? I don't know. We're going to see. Right well, now, I'm, you're squishing me. I don't know. I'm squishing you. You're squishing me. I don't think I'm squishing you. This one. This one. There we go. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Got up it's close on. and personal there. With my pants? Sorry. <laughs> a little, 
little shirt action, little chest action. There. Um, sorry. Might get banned. The cabinet? No, it's not. We don't talk about it. Okay. The cabinet is behind this that had the camera. So. All right. Sorry. Okay. So, that's a little more than sorry. That's. Yep. Sorry. Right. Probably need it. Sorry. Right. <sighs> trying to get him not to slam it. He Man, does that's it good stuff. Time. I kind of want another shot. It is good. And you know what else? It's gluten free. Mm. And it's high protein. Yes, it is. And it's not plant based. Nope. Because plant based collagen is not real. It is straight carnivore. Yeah, it is. Keto friendly. <gasps> Keto friendly, yes. Also, that too. A lot of things. You Lots should check of it out. Good for your hair, skin, and nails, and your joints. Yep, and your gut. And your gut. Hydrating your entire body. And. Inflammation. What? Fine lines and wrinkles. Don't be pointing to other people talking about their fine lines and wrinkles. Anyway, yes, it helps with that too. It's a wonderful beauty product as well as overall health. If you'd like to know more about it, again, message me. Or go to collegeacouple.com college oh, slash by the way, products. Yes, slash products, and that will lead you to it. Um, a reminder, because we're going to do a giveaway on March 1st. That's right. Okay. We're going to give away a month's supply, which is two bottles of collagen, just for subscribing to our YouTube channel, which is called The Collagen Couple. Yes. So go to that, go find it, go subscribe, and then you're going to be entered to win two bottles of collagen, a month's supply, because we're just that wonderful. Yep. Customers and non-customers only. Associates don't apply. Associates do not apply. But please join. You know, just because you should, anyway, if you, like, are on our team. And if you don't win, you should become an associate. Yeah, you should. And you should get your products paid for, because that's awesome. Actually, tonight and tomorrow, you can become an associate for free. For free. So Laura and I were kind of talking about... Let's get you a Jeep. We're talking about products, too. Who wants a Jeep? I want a Jeep. Do you I have like a Jeep? Jeep? Do you currently Let's have one? A Jeep. Do you want to get it paid for? Or, if you want a Jeep and come join us... Get it paid for. If you had a Jeep, you Wait. could do like what I did Saturday. You could spend several hours Saturday detailing it all out, making it all nice and pretty and shiny. And then two hours later, go on a recovery call and get it all muddy again. But you love that. I do. So it's Got okay. to use my winch. Oh. Got to put it in four. Oh, man, it was fun. Got dirty. You ready for spring? I had to put on my rubber boots. Ready to go to the beach? I am ready to take my doors off. I almost did today. Mm, today's but I got, almost, but yeah. It's all foggy and gross in the mornings. I know you don't see this, but in the mornings, on my way to work, like you can't even see the front of the dead gum truck. It's super foggy right yeah. now, which is stupid. That's not and good. the grass is growing, and the birds are chirping, and the snakes are awake. It's like it's not even winter anymore. I don't it's understand not. what's happening. I had to mow the grass. It's, it's, this month, this February, is not a typical Texas February. Stupid. It's really weird. It's been it's been strange. You know what I think that means? Don't jump do predictions. I don't think like, that means we're gonna be evacuating this summer. Stop it. That's what See? I think. See? Don't do that. You're gonna curse us with some crap. And no. Okay. Hey Laura, what's up? So anyway, that's collagen time. All the things, mug cake and talking about nourish and Jeeps. Jeeps and so, yeah. zero enrollment. And you should come join our team because it's a heck of a lot of fun. Yeah. And we do fun things and we have a good time together. We can get you a Jeep. And if you think you don't want a Jeep, you're wrong. You're wrong. I didn't want one either until we got one. I now we have three. Know. I didn't know I wanted one. And I was like, heck yes, I do. Yep. It's awesome. Love it. I just don't like for you to get it dirty. That's all. I get mine dirty and I leave you it dirty. You can go get yours dirty all you I wash it on occasion. On occasion. Yeah. Anyway, they're fun. So you should come join us and have fun. We do fun things. And can't wait for convention next week. 10 year celebration of the company and we're going to Utah next week. It'll be our third. And we're gonna get to. Is that our third time we go to Utah? Hey. Western it up. Can I just hit me in the head? Yep. Okay, you can just you can just take over the screen and tell everybody. No, we're good. No, you're good? Okay, we got a Western party. Yeah. What came in the mail today? I posted earlier about looking forward to stuff that comes in the mail, you know? Like, it sucks if you don't. Um, anyway, I got my belt today. Thank it's you, Laura. She loves it. Little belt buckle. I know. I like the hat too. Glad okay. we found one that fit. He's, he's gonna be looking pretty good for Western night. Yeah. I'm not gonna be looking Western as so much as country, but that's okay. Got me a hat, got me a boot, got me some assless chaps. You We're just be said good that. To go. 
Now we're going to be banned. No, I'm not. You just said that. I can't believe you I just said that. I said it as one we word. Like ending, one long word. We are so it won't ending pick up. now because you just cursed. It won't pick up. Oh, Siri's talking. See? Siri's mad at you. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry and I apologize for his cursing. All right. I'm so sorry about that. Y'all have a good night. You should be quiet. <laughs> I don't trust you now. But I bet you there will be someone wearing chaps, but they'll have pants on. I can see Cortland wearing chaps. I told you that. Well, I agree with you. <laughs> anyway, I apologize. Did you ever go get... Yes. Wait, him? Me. You? No, yes. she decided not to get him. No, I found but she boots. has a different pair. I found boots in my closet that I don't remember. I've had... These were like from like eight years ago or something. And they look country-ish. You know. They look country-ish. I did go to the boot barn and found some that I liked, but then they didn't go with my outfit. And I was like, oh, what do you do? It's okay. She's not going to be right. riding a horse. No. Anyway, okay. we're supposed to be going because I'm afraid you're going to cuss again. And do we have any spurs? I need to borrow some spurs from your dad. We're not bringing spurs to Utah. Yes. That'd be like having a weapon. We can check them. No. I don't know. That would be fun. Yes, the girls' boots fit me too, and there's a pair that I found that are like, I don't know. $79. Yep, they're like 50 bucks or 60 bucks cheaper than the other pair that were in the women's department. Because I have a small foot, wear a size 7. So if you wear a 7, you can wear a 5 in the kids, at least at Cavenders. What if you wear a 15? And then it was like, the, we were, well, you're really out of luck, and then you order or whatever. I don't know. Oh, you yeah. happen to, you found some, though. You've had yours for a while. I got my pair, my pair of boots right now. My, both of my pair of boots I got at Cavenders. Yeah. I have my square toe western boots that I wear, you know, I've had for like, I don't know, 10 years. Yeah. And then I have some steel toe work boots that I hunt in now because I don't really need them for the plant. Yeah. Anyway. But I did find some other boots that I... Oh, my gosh. I'll tell you about that later, too. So, Dillard's has, like, 75% off sale for, like, all the shoes of the winter stuff. So, they're getting so rid of boots. Tell them about it later. Found and then you start the telling them about it now. perfect boots for my walk that we're going to go do. So. Didn't you say I'm going to tell you about it later? Okay. I'll tell them later. All right, um, guess that's it. Go take your collagen if you haven't already. And if you are not on this amazing glow collagen, you should be. So message us and ask us for details. And don't throw the empty bottles at your wife. No, let's not throw bottles around. We're <laughs> I'm sorry. I wear I'm 15, not laughing at the fact so that I got you covered. Too. I understand. My daughter wears like a nine, and she's 17, so I don't know. But I'm, I'm only like 5'1". So I'm kind of short, so my little feet work for my body. So I'm sure sure. your feet work for your body, too. I'm sure they do. Like him. Yes, he has a size 15, which is freakishly large. But I can't imagine his foot looking different because he's very tall. (laughs) He's really, really tall. So he would look weird if he had smaller feet. Man is 5'2". Her legs are about that long. Yeah. She's got tiny little feet. Yep. He's 6'4"-ish. I think, he's, yeah. I think he lost a little from surgeries. And then I'm 5'1", so it's like that. But then I wear heels, and it's a little more like that. <laughs> sort of. Not really. Okay. We're going to go. Bye. Good night. <laughs>